Hello everyone. We're going to solve some gear problems, some gear ratio problems. We're going to use cross multiplication to do this. Uh, Alright, so here is the worksheet we're using. Uh, check out everything right here. We got our formulas right here. Uh, I'm going to define one word for us uh, in black ink, which is torque. There we go, torque equals, and let's see, torque is, it's done by this little T thing right here. Torque is a force of rotation. Force of rotation. So we're seeing how quick, uh, how much power we can generate to twist something. Or not power, but you know, how much force we can generate. In other words, can we can we get the jar off, right? Can we twist it hard enough? Um, <clears throat> okay, the other symbol we're going to define is this one. It kind of looks like a W, um, and that just stands for uh, angular speed, which is the same thing as rotational speed. So it's how quickly it's turning. Um, there we go. All right, let's move down and look at the first problem right here. Okay, it says a compound gear train is composed of four gears. We got gear A is the driver. Okay, got to pay attention to that. You know what? Let's annotate it while we're at it. Driver, uh, gear A is the driver, and it's got 12 teeth. Gear B has 24 teeth and shares a shaft with gear C. Okay, gear C has 30 teeth. Gear D has 32 teeth. So, okay, now I know that this is a compound gear, and that is going to be important for when I go ahead and draw this thing and model it. All right, so let's see. We got this nice empty space here. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw this thing. I'm going to start with gear A, which is the driver that has 12 teeth on it. Then the other one, I believe, had 24. So I'm going to draw that bigger for sure. That one's got 24 teeth. Uh, and now it gets a little bit tricky because we have that compound train, uh, which means that gear B and C are sharing the same shaft. They're sharing the same axle. So we're going to have to draw it something like this. Now I'm going to just label it right here, 30 teeth. And then we have our next gear, which is gear D. And that one, of course, has 32. All right, uh, 32, and then we can label A, we could label it driver, and then we can label this one D. So we kind of know what's going on there. Okay, so we got A, B, C, and D. Let's go ahead and save that. Looks good, and it says, if the output is at D, what is the gear ratio? So the gear ratio, we could go back to our formulas right here, GR total, and oh, actually look at this, it's right here for us. So it's B over A and D over C, so it's basically output, let me zoom in just a little bit, it's basically this right here, output over input, right? But we're combining together a couple of different things here, so okay, let's zoom back out and let's go over here so I'm gonna write uh, n out n out over n in and I apologize for the slightly messy penmanship hopefully it's still readable and understandable okay so now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna actually write my ratios so I have a uh, 24 over 12 for the B to A ratio. And then this one is 32 over 30. And I wanna multiply those together. Now I'm just gonna reduce it down here, two over one times 16 over 15. The final answer, 32 over 15. Now this one's critical. Uh, I'm gonna need to use that in a lot of different questions. So if gear A rotates at 80 RPM, how fast is gear D rotating? Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. Uh, let's see, we're going to use, of course, the gear ratio, and then for this one, let's go ahead and put red on this one, uh, and we're looking for the angular speed, I believe. Let's see if we could zoom in just a bit, put a red box around that one, right? remembering that our WS symbol equals <clears throat> our angular speed. Let's go over, check out this problem right here. Okay, so we have that. And now, of course, I go ahead and do these, and I barely remember what they are, but I think I do. I think it's N out over N in 
equals, uh, let's see, angular speed in over angular speed out. Okay, so now we need to substitute and solve. So let's see, our gear ratio is 32 over 15, and that equals W, okay, gear A rotates at 80 RPM. I know gear A is the start of it, it's the driver. So that is right there, 80 RPM. That of course is revolutions per minute over, let's just say D R P M. Okay, now I'm gonna do some cross multiplication here. I'm running a little bit low on space. 15 times 80, I don't know what that is. Let's see, 15 times 80. 15 times four would be 600. So 15 times eight would be, uh, would be 120. And then, so this is gonna be 1,200, I believe. So 32D equals 1,200. You guys should probably check my math with the calculator. This one, I'm gonna have to do myself with the calculator so as we don't slow up the video. One, two, zero, zero, divided by 32. That's gonna be 37.5. So let's see, we'll go ahead and save. All right, final answer is, uh, let me get my pen back, 37.5 revolutions per minute. Okay, excellent. All right, so we've solved three, we got four now. If the output torque at gear C is 90 foot pounds, what is the input torque at gear A? Okay, so now a couple of things, the output torque, so you know what, I think I messed up making this, I apologize. Um, we're gonna have to just change that to a D. Go ahead and do that on your worksheet too. Uh, output force there, D, 90 foot pound. What is the input torque at gear A? Okay, so notice this one we are given the output and we need to find the input. So again, let's go look up our formula right here. We're given the torque so let's use blue for this one right here. Torque out over torque in, N out over N in. Uh, let's go ahead and write our formula right here. I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. Let's see, N out over N in equals T torque out over torque in. Okay, substitute and solve, let's see. 32 over 15, we love the gear ratio. Torque out is what we do know, that is 90 FT pound. You know what, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna save space by not writing the unit. I know that's bad practice, but you know, desperate times T and If you got room for it, definitely write the units, it's worth it. Okay, so we got 15 times 90, 32 times torque, so we got 32 T equals 15 times 90. Let's see what that is. 15 times, uh oh, 15 times 90 equals 1350, 1350 foot pounds. Now we'll divide that by 32 and it equals 42.1875. Okay. Let's uh, just go ahead and call it 42.2. Two, and here I will write the unit. Foot times pounds. Okay, save. All right, that means we're down to the last one. And this one, I don't know, for some reason I think it's the trickiest uh, because you don't have a clear formula, right? You're just comparing gear ratios uh, and seeing what you want, right? So it says, what size gear would you need to replace gear D with in order to change the gear ratio to four to one? So now for my formula, it's this right here. It's B over A right here times D over C. So, okay, here we go. I'll switch back to black. B, B over A times D over C. And I'm just gonna use the, uh, <clears throat> the pre-solved 
or the pre, pre reduced b over a that's 2 over 1 I'm going to multiply that times d now we need to replace d so I'm just going to leave it as a variable and I'm going to put in 30 for c and that needs to equal 4 over 1 now I'm going to multiply it I'm going to get 2 d over 30 equals 4 over 1 now I just cross multiply get 2 d equals 120 d equals 60 that makes sense because really 2 times 4 equal 2 times 2 equals 4 and I have 1 2 right here so I need this to be 60 over 30 that's going to give me another factor of 2 2 times 4 is going to give me my 4 over 1 answer so my final answer is 60 T. And there we go. That's going to wrap it up for this worksheet. Make sure to work hard on the last problems. And uh, anyways, I hope it goes well.